got the tow truck company here. Mission Towing. Is it against the law to own a knife? Is it against the law to own a knife? Is it against the law to own a knife? I am respecting you. Nicely, can you please take a step back? Nicely was... So you're not going to walk up to the officer's door with a giant knife on your side. Yeah, it is. Look at this tire right here. <clears throat> Check this out. He, we got a corporal right here. Why don't you film his knife from standing to the office next to the office? Is it against the law to own a knife? Is it, it against the law to own a knife in the state of Texas? Is it against the is it against the law? Don't don't get smart. Is it against the law to own a knife in the state of Texas? And we are allowed to walk wherever we want with a knife. Not up to an officer. Oh, not up to an officer. What law is that? State the law on that. State the law on that. Interference. How is that interference? Walking around with a knife when it's not against the law to walk around with a knife. See, get your head out of your ass, dude. Pay attention to what you're saying. Pay attention to what you're saying, dude. Listen to what you're saying. Your friend has got a knife. Is it against the law to own a knife in the state of Texas and walk around with it? Is it against the law in the state? See, you're not going to answer that question because you're going to keep going in circles. Is reasonable suspicion of what? Oh my God, that's y'all just acting cowardness. That's it. That's it. That's it. Is it going to turn into an officer safety thing or what? Officer safety? Officer safety is bullshit. Officer safety is bullshit. People walk around with weapons all the time uh, by okay. traffic stops and everything. Yeah, Just because like somebody you. has a weapon doesn't they mean that they're going like to use you. it. They don't act like nobody. Nobody has to act like anybody. Hey, man, I'm not dealing with you either. You should turn around and go do your job, dude. Turn around and go do your job. Hey, quote the law. Who's the only person? The only person here not making no sense is you. The only person that's here making no sense is you at this point. 
Is it against the law to own a knife in the state of Texas? Is it against the law to walk around with a knife in your pocket in the state of Texas? Is it against the law in the state of Texas to walk around with a knife in your pocket? Thank you for doing that. Yeah. See? Well, quit, quit being all, quit being all scared. Quit being all scared. Like everybody's gonna hurt you. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Nobody's here to hurt you. We're here to document. Nobody's here to hurt you. Plenty of times. Plenty of times. Plenty of times. You're, you got in his face. You got in his face. Because you're scared of everything. Cops are scared of everything, bro. You don't have to be scared. Sorry for the wind, people. Listen to this tyrant right here. And it's not interfering. Corporal. Corporal. Hayes. Hayes. Hughes. What's your name? What's your name? 2314. 2534. Don't walk up on me. Don't walk up on me. Well, you're the one that asked me. Here it is. 2534. You don't have to get that damn close. I can smell your breath from here, dude. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Oh, I, I take care of my stuff. Yeah, nobody said anything. You have to come say something. It's always the higher ups that's got to say something. Nobody, you're not a corporal. What? Two stripes, two chevrons. You're not a corporal. You work the streets. Well, you're doing a bad job. Okay, you're doing a bad job. You're welcome. So are you. So that's why they didn't say nothing. They were respecting our right to sit here and film what's going on out here. You're the only one that's got to walk up and get in people's faces, dude. Thank you, sir. That none of them gets hurt. They're doing their job. Who got hurt? Huh? Who got hurt? I was this close to him. Who, right. Who got hurt? That's right. Who got hurt? That's right. Who got hurt? I'm standing here. Who got hurt? Because I'm standing here. I mean, who's getting hurt? Nobody. Are you getting hurt? Nope. Are you nope. good? I'm not hurt. Hey, no. I'm fine. I'm good. Cool. The only thing that hurt right here is the ego right here. The ego is just kicking his ass right now. Uh, why'd you got to get so up in his face? Nobody was saying anything. We were just sitting here documenting. That's right. There's always got to be that one cop that's got to say something and act like a fool. Yeah. Well, did they say anything? They didn't say nothing. You're right. You're right. Right. Officer safety is cowardice, man. Good old SADD. Look at this. I mean, Converse. Yeah. Hey, is, is there any law that says anything about officer safety? Hmm? Officer safety is there, there is. Case law. What, what case law is Go that? Look it up. No, I don't have to because look I already know better. Uh -huh. The only thing that's out there is Pennsylvania up. versus Mims saying you can get somebody out of their vehicle for officer safety, but you also got to have probable cause to believe that that person's even darn, no, even dangerous, reasonable suspicion of a crime. Crime. That's the of a crime. You can't just go assume. You can't assume. Yeah, I can. It's got reasonable suspicion. Yeah. But what's the PC behind that RC? Exactly. What happens if we walk up on you like you walked up on us? Will we get put in handcuffs? Sorry? If we walked up on you like you walked up on us, yeah, what would happen to is. us? That wasn't aggressive like you walked up to me just I don't now? Know, he's got that big knife. It makes you uncomfortable. Oh, make you uncomfortable for what? Did he pull out that weapon? Doesn't have to. Pay attention to what's Doesn't going on. Do your job right. Do, my job Pay right. do your job right. That's all you got to do. Observe. And then if nobody's doing nothing, you shouldn't be getting in people's faces like that. Straight out. You have no right to be doing that. You have every right to say what you want to say. And you have no right to be getting in people's faces like that either. Keep going. Where am I? Where are we going? I'm just calling things how I see it. I'm calling things out exactly how I seen it. We were sitting here filming, documenting, and you got to come get in his face. They're working. They're, oh, so them working, we have to not be here? Or we have a right to be here documenting y'all? Have you ever heard of Turner versus Driver? Have you heard of Turner versus Driver? Nobody ever told you. Nobody See, look, there he goes again. There goes that ego again. Get away from that record. Look at this. Look at this tire right here. He just has to tell people what to do for no reason. I don't care where you work for machinery. He's gonna tell me to stand back next because I took a step towards the cop car. Cowards, man. Cowards, cowards, that's all it is. It's cowards. There has to be that one out of everybody that's always gotta say something. And and, and it happens to be you this time. Um, yeah.
Is, is your dash cam on? Is your dash cam on? It's on, right? Your body cam's on? Thank you. You're more than welcome to take a look at it. And see, people, the reason he's not doing nothing because it's legal to carry a knife in the state of Texas. They think everybody's after them, we're going to hurt them, or they think that all the time. What, documenting? Standing here? Because we have a knife, all of a sudden we got a backup? He was never at their door. He's at the front of their car. Dude, pay attention to what's going on. Pay attention to what's going on, dude. Pay attention. Pay attention to what's going on. Pay attention to what's really going on. Oh, I was, exactly. I have to, and you know, the whole thing, is it's documented. That's the whole thing. It's documented. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing that's documented right here is the ignorance of you trying to tell people where to go, where to stand, and it doesn't work like that no more. It doesn't work like that no more. Proof. Proof. The camera's the proof. The camera's the proof. Look at this, dude. Man. for the car yeah thank you yeah i appreciate that. because we have to worry about officer safety thank man you. Yeah, you officer safety is a big thing yeah thank you officer safety is a big thing thank you yeah so is auditor safety Aud off, you know auditor safety is a becoming more and more uh, a thing of it every day just like the unforced law of you know officer safety yeah. hey got to keep a watch out on this guy right here guy right here he was slurring his words quite a bit it's funny right but this is the same stuff you do to the American people same stuff you do to the American people I'm an American people too yeah you're an American people that are telling people where to stand and where to go because they have a knife in their pocket you know, when people walk okay. by me on the street, I notice they have knives in my pocket, but I don't tell them, hey, get back from me, get back from me. I don't tell those people to get back from me because it's legal to carry a knife. They're not doing anything to me. We're doing what we want to do. We, 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 we're, we're pulling that eagle. The cameras always pull the eagles out. It will be a long discussion. It will be a long discussion. Because y'all violate, violate, violate rights all the time, though. Y'all violate rights all the time. Y'all are briefed in the briefing room every day to ID everybody in cars and everything. You don't have to. Like, you know how many times I've been in a car with San Antonio Police Department being a passenger in a car and, oh, I need to see your ID. You don't need to see your brother's ID. I haven't they, asked they, you for ID. All I said well, you don't have to ask. You're not going to get my ID. That's just out of the game. That's just out of the question. 100%. I don't want your ID. We're, but we're you. carrying knives being close to cop cars. Isn't that against... Officer safety? Here's a question I got for you. If it's a, if it's a good question, yes, it's a good if it's question. not a, a, a like you're trick question, if you want to go straight forward for that bullshit. Okay, her issue is with this. I'm sorry, the wind is okay. heavy. I'll step a little closer to you then. Okay, your issue is with my knife, yes? No, my issue with you, with it? Are you going to let me answer it? You said my issue. Yeah, being close to your office. My issue was a person with a knife on their side walking very close to the door, squatting, sitting down in a police vehicle. Okay, now here's my question. Okay. Two officers. Yeah. If they had a problem with me, do you think they are able to speak for themselves? Yeah, they are. And can I ask it? Can it doesn't say anything, but you, right off the bat, you're in my face. You're making me feel uncomfortable. You're threatening me. I didn't threaten you. I just have to get back up. Yeah, well, you put him in at this distance, okay, which is more than an arm length away. And you could have been, sir, can you please back up? I did say that. You were, no, I did say that. You were literally. I did inches. say that. And you did. 
but you are inches away from it. Now you know how it feels, right? What law states says that you can't walk by a cop car with a knife in your pocket? You know, I mean, you don't... What law states that you can't walk by a cop car without a knife in your pocket? The totality of the circumstances. And what circumstance is that? Somebody putting a tow truck or a car on a tow truck? What's dangerous about that? It's not like it's a traffic stop to where you're having to watch the people in the car. You're not having to watch anything. You know what's going on. I'm going to give you one example. Can I? This is what we call cop explaining, but go ahead. Okay, then I want to explain. Okay. Because you know you ain't going nowhere with it, dude. Yes, I am. I'm willing to talk to you, but you don't want to... Totality. There is no such thing as officer safety. We could walk where we want with knives in our pocket without having cops getting in our face and trying to back us up. Every day. Yeah. And, and the, the, judges, the judges are crooked, too. The judges are crooked, too. They're going to go with that. They're going to go with the blue line, and they're going to back y'all up because qualified immunity and everything else. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Which judges are crooked? Which yeah, ones? It's, it's more or less which ones are not crooked. I don't know. You, you, you happen to know some judges that are crooked. And yeah. I would like to share that because I would like to know that. So you're saying they've never violated rights and took up for the cop instead of what they should both do by law? I've never felt that they've taken my side. But, but when you don't know the law and you just say whatever you think that the law is and, no, and it goes to court. I'm there is no law stating that he can't be over there with a knife standing next to those cop cars. Now, when this is all done here... Totality? You said totality of what? Officer safety? I mean, Circumstances of what? He has a knife walking by a car. Now, what done, law states you can't do that? The officer over there, the one over here. If he wants to talk to you, he's riding on the taxi. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's riding the taxi, he's looking down and he's focusing well, I, I on see what that. he's riding. That, I see that, that's why I said when he's done. And the other officer was because doing I'm, what's called a TSR for that car, and yeah. he's looking down writing. Yeah. Now, I just happened mm -hmm. to finish what I was doing, yeah, I, so I, I came around. That. And then you came over here and decided and to get in people's faces. All the way up to the edge of the concrete. We were already the there before you came over here. Okay. They didn't say a thing to I us. You. I saw him over there. I'm telling you, they didn't say a thing to us. It has to be that one that has to come say I something. Did. I did say something. And what, what's the point? Because you got to push that ego or what? Huh? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, and I'd be owning your badge and everything else. You should just, you should just turn it in now. You should turn it in now. Go ahead, go ahead, turn in your badge. Well, take off the whole shirt. Take off the whole clown costume, dude. It don't matter. It don't matter. In a ring, mutual combat But the way you approach people, you don't deserve that badge. I don't. I wouldn't. So can you go do your job now? So we can get back to documenting the scene? You are doing your job? And what's that? Officer safety again? It's officer safety. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but like I said... What's your guy's name? What's your name? I prefer not to give it. Oh, really? Mine's good citizen. Being cordial. Being cordial. Cordial. You don't be cordial by getting... Cordial is not getting in people's faces and walking around them. It's not walking around them. Well, you don't know who I am. But you'll, you'll soon find out, though. You'll soon find out. You'll soon find out. You'll soon find out. Matter of fact. your oath. Don't be violating people's rights. Oh, here we go. He's over. See, he told me to go ask me a question. Now he's going to stand over. Now he's going to sit over here.
Put your seatbelt on. Put your seatbelt on. Put your seatbelt on. Seatbelts. And of course, you got the blue line of tyranny here. Seat belts, there you go, put it on, that's right. Your seat belt too. We get tickets for that. You see, those other yeah, That's right. Yeah, there we go. He was the only one with a problem. He's a good friend. Yeah, you should spend a few times, like a few hours there in Converse. They can show him how to do it properly. Guys, go down. All right, people, you're leaving out. On to the next.